Hello, today I will show you another German classic. It's schnitzel time and we will serve this schnitzel with pommes, which means fries. Um, schnitzel and pommes are a really German classic and I will also add a sauce to that. I will make a Jäger sauce, which is translated to hunter's sauce. You maybe have heard about it. Let's quickly go over the ingredients. I have four thin sliced pork chops, two eggs, some whipping cream, fresh from the garden, some parsley, sour cream. While um, it's supposed to be um, creme fraiche, but I'm not really willing to pay four dollars for a like, tiny little can of uh, creme fraiche, and I think that the sour cream would just do the same good job on that. I have some Hungarian paprika powder, some salt, pepper. I've prepared the potatoes already. I cut them into fries and soaked them in water for an hour. Also, we will need some breadcrumbs, some olive oil or butter if you prefer that, and a little bit of flour. And that's what we need. Now, I've um, drained the water from the potatoes and um, I have a larger bowl here now and I will add some oil to that and some salt and I will not pretend that this is a German recipe, I don't know, I think that fries come from France since they are called French fries and the German word pommes is from, um, from pommes frites, which is French. So I assume that's from France, but it could also be from um, maybe Belgium or something. Not sure if anyone knows. So I will take the fries and put them on some kitchen paper here. And I will try to get them a little bit dry. And then I add them to this larger bowl. They don't have to be absolutely dry, but it's, it's working a little bit better if I pet them a little bit dry. Oops. Put them all in here. And then I clear this and make sure that it is covered with the oil. I can add a little more. is already preheating to 425 degrees. Okay, and now I will just put them on my baking sheet and spread them out a little bit. And homemade fries taste so much better than the frozen ones. I really like to bake them in the oven, otherwise this is just some olive oil on it. It's, it's still less fat than if you put them into one of these frying machines. Alright, so this will go into the oven once the oven has the right temperature, which would be soon. Now it's time to prepare the schnitzel. For that I will take two eggs. Scramble them. And I set this aside. 
Oh, that's the oven. Let me quickly put the fries into the oven. So next I take some of the flour. Not too much, just a little bit. Maybe a little more. Spread it out on the plate. breadcrumbs and put them on the third plate. Alright, so <coughs> here are my pork chops and I will salt them. with the side that is already prepared into the flour. Put it back here. side. Next I put this over here. I put it into the scrambled eggs both sides and then I put it into the breadcrumbs both sides again. And back here this one in the flour to the scrambled eggs that everything is covered with some breadcrumbs and the last one Now since I've already prepared the schnitzels, I am now at the step where I want to fry them. I will use plenty of olive oil. And I just realized that I forgot to mention that we also need some onions which I had, al oops, had already prepared. So this will go to the sauce a little later. Now I heat the pan and here is my plate. Okay, this is hot. And let's 
see. Now I put each of these sheets into hot oil and I will fry them from both sides for a couple of minutes. in the oven too the oven is pretty hot so I really want to hurry up with the sauce because I don't want this to dry out in the oven I just want to keep them very warm of 
the origin. But uh, since we are also close together, I mean Germany is essentially smaller than Texas. Um, that's why we influence, you know, we, we get together with our neighbor countries a lot. We do our vacations there, and I guess in the century before we did a lot of um, trading with other countries, and that's how we learned new things and adapted them and brought them to other regions in Europe. And that's something I really like about Europe, because, you know, instead of just fighting each other for centuries, we also, we also um, learned a lot from each other. So it's not all difficult history, we also have some very great history because of the things we share. You are right about that. But I'm just doing my cafe. Okay. Now I will add some of my cream. Since I do not use the cream fresh. So clean that this will kind of soften the taste. traditional food. But it tastes so good. So I let this boil for a little bit. I will heat a little bit and take a look at my fries. So as it turns out, the fries need a few more minutes. Do this and carefully take out the schnitzel so they don't dry out there. So now here are the fries, and the food is ready to be served.